up party people and welcome back to my channel. So I'm just gonna jump right into the tutorial. But before we get into it, this is an expansion on my Hocus Pocus Mega Transformations. I did Winifred a couple of years ago, so I'm gonna link that up here in the card. Also in the description box and at the end in the outro. So something I do wanna do though is kind of go over the elements of Sarah's makeup just so you know verbally what we're trying to achieve. Number one, what is very obvious about her look is that her eyebrows are very dark and also very bushy. They're very thick, very rounded in the inner portion and then they go up pretty high in kind of like a rounded arch shape and then they drop down pretty low. Number two, her eye makeup is very smoky, it's very smudgy, and it's very imperfect. Literally, her eyeshadow is touching her brow, and then it kind of slopes down. Just imagine this is like a dark smoky brown, so it just kind of goes down in a slope. So when her eyes are open, you can't see any color. Like you can just see that really kind of protruding bright brow bone. As far as her face goes, it seems like the makeup artist wasn't really trying to do anything particular. Like they weren't really trying to make her look uglier. For her lips, I don't know if it's just different lighting and coloring, but it kind of seems like they did two different shades. At one point they have like a deep cherry red. And then at another point they have like a wineish, uh, like a, a purpley undertone kind of red, like a burgundy. And then you can't forget the little mole down here on the bottom right of her chin. So yeah, that's pretty much it for Sarah's elements. So I recommend doing your brows first before your eye makeup, like your eyeshadow and stuff, because what I found by practicing was that the eyeshadow kind of gets in the way where you can't see your brows, like you can't really perfect them. So to get our like straight up bushy Sarah brow, I'm gonna go into some e.l.f. Brow Lip, which is a really stronghold brow gel. I'm just gonna brush them up like that to where it's completely flat against my skin. I'm gonna come back in a minute and kind of tame them down just a little bit. The only thing bad about brow gels like this is that you can see them, like they look a little a little crusty. Okay, I've been sitting here for about five minutes now, so I'm gonna take my spoolie and just kind of go and outline the very top and just very, very lightly lay them down just a little bit. And honestly, I'm not really gonna mess with this inner part right here because we wanna keep that pretty high up. So I'm gonna take some micellar water and just go around the very top part of the brow just to get it off the skin. So now I'm gonna go into a concealing eye primer and prime my entire eye. So now I'm gonna go into some eyeshadow armor, shields, whatever you wanna call them. This is from AOA Studio, it's called the Shadow Armor Eyeshadow Fallout Patches. You can use tape if that's what you've got. So like I said, we wanna keep the brow bone pretty white, pretty bright. So to do that and also kinda of give me an outline for how high up I need to bring the eyeshadow, I'm gonna go into an actual white concealer. You can also use just a really, really bright light concealer. So I'm just gonna start this right next to the brow bone and bring it down onto like the upper crease. So now I'm just gonna take my finger and tap that along the bottom part of the concealer to make sure it blends into my skin. But now I'm gonna go into an eyeliner. So I'm kind of working backwards a little bit. I wanna do this first so that it actually gets kind of smoked out along the process of blending. And this is legit the most black formula I think I've ever tried. See, I'm just gonna go ahead and very messily apply this to the top. We're gonna smudge it out with an eyeliner brush. The eyeliner is brought up pretty high in the center of her eye. So it's making a very like rounded shape. I'm also gonna do it in my waterline right here to fill in the gaps and make it look really, really sultry and smoky. I'm also gonna take this in my lower waterline and bring it all the way in to my tear duct and also a little bit on my actual lash line. Again, we're just messily applying this and then smoking it out with the eyeliner brush. we Will say don't apply too much to the lower lash line because it's actually kept pretty tight, like pretty close to her eyelashes down there. Also, I've noticed that the top eyeliner and the bottom kinda, they kinda connect right here in a very messy way. Like it, it's almost like it just kinda like melted and smudged a little bit. So I'm gonna be using a couple of different eyeshadow palettes and you don't really need both. So if I were gonna choose one, I would choose the LA Girl Sunkiss Glow Eyeshadow Palette. It has pretty much everything you need. It has a really nice intense jet black. This is the best black I've ever used. Some nice dark brown shades, some nice warm brown shades. The other one that I've been using is the She Glam Smart Cookie Palette, which also has some really nice matte, warm, and dark brown shades. See, I'm gonna go into this really jet black matte shade and just kind of smudge that on top of the eyeliner with a little smudgy brush. This is just gonna help kind of set it and also make it look nice and smoky. And I'm also gonna be putting this in the waterline as well and the lower lash line. But again, don't bring this too far on the actual lower lash line. Like keep it pretty high up. Now a little trick to actually keep the eyeliner on in your waterline. I'm gonna go into a mixing medium. So I've been using this Cryolin mixing medium and it seems like whenever I use this, it really does keep it on there. So I'm just gonna pour literally one drop of the Cryolin and tap right onto the waterline. I don't recommend doing this for the top yet because we will need to, you know, do some more smoking and smudging and blending. So we don't want it to be too set right now. So we're gonna move back up to the brow before we move on to the eyeshadow. Her brow is a really dark, warm tone brown. So I'm gonna go into this NYX Precision Brow Pencil in the shade Soft Brown. So I'm gonna start by outlining the lower portion of my brow. To give that look of number one, a more high arch, but also a thicker inner portion, I'm gonna bring it down a little bit further than normal. I'm just gonna be brushing up as I go. Okay, so I'm having a hard time actually getting the soft brown shade to actually show up. So I'm gonna go into the shade that I normally use, which is Ash Brown. Oh yeah, 
that's showing up way more. So going into the inner part of my brow, I'm just gonna make vertical hairlock strokes and literally just up. So as I get up to the arch, I'm gonna kinda bring it higher than normal for me, kind of round it off like that. And the eyeshadow patch is kind of in my way right now, so I'll go in and bring it down further once I have foundation and stuff on. I feel like her brow is thinner than mine, like towards the arch. Go into that concealer brush that I used for that white shade and just go right underneath the brow up here, just kind of clean it up a little bit and make it look a little bit more thin. I need to go on the top as well. So like that. Okay, so I think this side worked out a lot better. So I went straight out the gate with the shade Ash Brown. I really don't like that brow gel in first. I kind of want to take this side off and start off with the brow pencil and see if I get a better result that way. I'm just taking a cotton pad with some micellar water on it and just running it through the brows. So going back into the Ash Brown Precision Brow Pencil, I'm going to do the exact same thing, but hopefully it actually sticks. See, I'm just making a little vertical hairlock strokes, just kind of flicking the brow pencil. I will say this is definitely working out better than putting the brow gel on first. So now I'm gonna go into that She Glam Smart Cookie Palette. And I'm gonna mix these two down here at the bottom together. Cause I need to warm up the brow a little bit more. See, I'm just gonna go in and do the exact same thing and make those same hairlock strokes and just kind of fill everything in. And this is also gonna make the brow look more fluffy. Okay, so I'm gonna go back into that e.l.f. brow lift on this side and just with a very, I'm talking about a very small tapping of the brush amount, kind of push those hairs back up and just do what I did before but after the brow product. The brows were the hardest part of this freaking look. So let's move back to the eyeshadow. So in the LA Girl palette, I'm gonna mix this shade right here at the bottom with this darker brown. They're both warm tone brown shades. So I'm gonna dip my brush more into the lighter shade. So I'm gonna take that on this angled fluffy brush from She Glam. I think this was like two or $3 on there. But I like the fact that it's angled, like it comes up to a higher peak because it kind of makes it perfect for bringing it up towards the brow. Like it just, it just does it on its own. Yeah, I'm just gonna go in and start on that inner portion and I'm already gonna start touching the brow so i'm also bringing this in and touching my nose she brings it like it's really far into her nose right here too you do want to go over top of the eyeliner as well Just keep in mind we're keeping the color below the crease like below the socket so when you open your eye you don't want to see a lot of color up here so the clean smaller blending brush i'm just going to take it and just kind of blend around the edges to make sure it's kind of cut off where i want it to be i'm gonna take my concealer brush from earlier and just kind of cut off a little bit of the crease. You might need some more product too. So I'm gonna take a different blending brush and I'm gonna get some of this like skin tone kind of color and we're gonna kind of clean up the crease to try to push it down a little bit. And when I'm applying this, I'm applying it in a downward shape diagonal. Make sure that you're looking at yourself head on so you can see what you see when your eye is you know, open. So about like that. I'm gonna take some more of that shade right here. Just smoke this out a little bit more. Again, we're putting it on the actual side of the nose. There's a little side by side comparison. So I'm gonna show this picture right here because I feel like this really shows the color, the shape, the eyeliner, all that. So I think I am gonna go back into that smudger brush that I used with that matte black and take some more of the matte black on there and just kind of smudge back over that. And again, it's messy, okay? It's not perfect. We're not going in a super straight line, but we are bringing it up higher towards the center like that. Going back into that angled crease brush, I'm just gonna go over the eyeliner again, just to make sure it blends into the eyeshadow pretty well. So now we're gonna go into a little smudgy brush like this and go into a dark brown in the LA Girl palette. We're just gonna keep this really, really close to the lash line. We're gonna keep it high and tight. I do wanna brighten up the brow bone a little bit. The one I was using from the Smart Cookie palette was just a little bit too close to my skin tone. I'm gonna go into this Believe Beauty six pan palette in the shade Nearly Nude. And I'm gonna take this shade right here. To get the most color intensity and brightness, I'm gonna start by tapping it. We're not putting any right here towards the inner portion of the brow. And I'm still keeping that very diagonal shape like this. So I'm pretty much covering all this area right here with a brow bone highlight. And then going back into that blending brush, I'm just gonna blend right on the eyelid, not really like above the dark brown shades or like right below the brow bone, just kind of right on top of it. I'm gonna curl my lashes and apply a very, very small amount of mascara. You know what? I actually think I'm gonna use that brush I took for my brow bone shade and just go with whatever's left over on it. Actually, I'm gonna tap off a little bit of the excess. I'm just gonna go on top of this area right here in the inner part because I feel like hers is just a tad bit brighter right there, but it's not, you know, it's just like messily brighter. So let's take these off and we're gonna work on the face now. So I'm just gonna take my Q-tip and just kind of run it along the lower lash line, not just to clean up any mess, but to also push it up a little bit tighter. It's hard to see what you're doing with that eyeshadow shield on, but yeah, about like that. 
So for my skin prep, all I've got on right now is just moisturizer. So I'm gonna go into a primer. I'm gonna go into more of like a mattifying primer to make my face look really smooth. So for foundation, I'm gonna go pretty light with it because she is pretty pale. And I think that really helps to make her eyes pop even more. If you need to, just whiten it up. You can use the LA Girl HD Pro Foundation in the shade white. You could also use the LA Girl Concealer in the shade white like what we used earlier. But I may mix in just a tad bit of the LA Girl White Concealer just to kind of make it a little bit more porcelain. I'm really gonna layer this up. Make sure that if it doesn't match your skin tone, like if it's too light, you really blend it on top of your ears behind your ears down your neck like just make sure there's no line of demarcation so for concealer there's not really anything special done like she's not more bright under her eyes than she is anywhere else it's just more concealed so I'm gonna go into a really light concealer that's really full coverage so I'm gonna take a small concealer brush and get a little bit on there and just really get up close to the lash line. For contour, we're going to the She Glam Glowing Up Skin Stick in the shade Golden Sun. And again, they haven't really altered her bone structure in any way with contour. All that I see is that there's a little bit back here to make her cheekbones pop. It also looks like there's just a tad bit of contour like that to kind of make her face shape look a little more angular. For her nose, it kind of looks like they've made it look darker on the sides. It looks like they've maybe tried to make it look more crooked. I'm just gonna go down the sides like this and then also connect it up to the brow and the eyeshadow on the eyelid and then make a little line right through here to kind of make the, the, the nostril look a bit wider. Shade the under part of my nose right here and then maybe just a little bit right through here just to add some dimension and depth. So I'm actually gonna take that same concealer brush and just wipe off the excess and just start stippling that nose contour. Actually, it looks like they've made her nose look a little bit wider too. So instead of going down like just the bridge of the nose right here to where it looks more elongated, I'm gonna put it right down here, like on the side. Yeah, I'm not trying to make my nose look more pinched. I'm trying to make it look a little bit wider. Like I'm trying to make the bridge look wider. Going back into my sponge, I'm just going to take whatever's left over and blend down the center to try to clean it up a little bit and to kind of enhance the, the wideness with the brightness. Just like so. And then I'm going to blend out my jaw and my cheek. I'm really just going to stipple it right on top of where I laid it down. I'm just going to take my sponge once again and just kind of bounce around the edges, just not really on top just around the contour to kind of make it pop, but also blend in. So I'm just gonna do a little bit on the sides right there and then blend whatever's left over onto the top right up here on my forehead. So I do wanna set that with a powder contour bronzer shade. This is a pretty neutral bronzer, so I don't want anything too warm, too orangey. So I'm just gonna set what I've already done and just very lightly bring it around. I'm gonna tap it on my nose a little bit. All right, so for blush, I don't see a big amount of color on her cheeks. Looks like there's a slight bit of like a pale pink. So I'm gonna use a MAC Mineralized Blush in the shade Warm Soul. And I'm just gonna add a very, very light amount of this to the apples of my cheeks. And I'm gonna go into a setting powder. So you can use a translucent or something that's just really light and pigment. And she's got a really light, bright, cool tone to her. So hopefully this will kind of add to the brightness. I'm gonna set everywhere except where I applied the blush and the contour. Now I'm gonna put just a little bit of mascara on the lower lashes. So for lip liner, I'm gonna use the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade Ellery. Now as you can see, this is a deep, purpley, burgundy kind of wine red. I'm just gonna go ahead and fill in my entire lip with this. I actually recommend just kind of thickening out the lip line instead of actually filling in everything. Then going with your finger and smudging it out to where it's all over your lip. So now I'm gonna go into the Maybelline Ultimate Matte Lipstick in the shade More Ruby. On its own, it's like a deep cherry red. If I put it on top of this wine lip liner, then it makes it the perfect like wineish red lipstick. Another shade option, if you can't find that ultimate from Maybelline, is the Maybelline Superstay Ink Crown, the shade Make It Happen. You could probably just get away with using that by itself. So I do wanna try a brow pen marker just to see if I can draw more hair like strokes. I'm gonna draw them up to where it's actually on my skin, to where it looks like actual brows. It's working. And because we have put a lot of effort into this, make sure you set it with a setting spray. So I've been gone for several hours now. I completely forgot about elongating the tail of my brow. And I figured I'd go ahead and show you what this other Maybelline uh, Superstay Matte Ink in the shade Make It Happen looks like on its own with just that Ellery lip liner from ColourPop. All right, so there is just the Maybelline Superstay Ink in the shade Make It Happen. So honestly, this is a perfect match too. So I'm gonna go back into that brow tint pen from NYX and elongate the brow, so about like that. So I'm gonna go and put on the rest of my ensemble and I'll be right back. Okay, so the wig is horrid. Kinda looks like the one she's wearing in the sequel though, so I guess it's not too far off. Also, I can't put on wigs and I'm in a crunch for time, so it could have been better, but here is my Sarah Sanderson. Come little children. I'll take the away. Oh, I am beautiful. Boys will love me. Oh, Winnie, how time flies when you're dead. I will have everything that I'm wearing, the entire ensemble, link below. <gasps> 
Oh my God, I forgot the mold. So I'm gonna go into a dark brown eyeliner pen and it's right below the right side of her lips. So it's right here. There's my mold, now we're done. So that is it for my Sarah Sanderson makeup tutorial transformation. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, then make sure you get a big old thumbs up. And here's a couple more things for you to check out next. So just venture around the channel, make yourself at home. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. My channel is focused on affordable beauty, so make sure you stick around if you like that kind of thing. For the notification bell to always see my stuff, and I will see you guys in the next one, and happy Halloween. Mwah.